Hey guys, it's Ashley with Pugs and Pearls and today I am doing another mask review video and I'm super excited because I got these masks um, in this one kit from Ulta and it was a $25 kit from Peter Thomas Roth which I thought was a really really good deal. I mean you get to try all six of his very popular people love these masks. They rave about them but they're really expensive. I mean these full jars are like sometimes 70 plus dollars. Um, you can get them in smaller jars but they're you know still pricey. So I thought for 25 bucks this set of six was really really great and particularly since we're in the fall kind of swing of things I thought the pumpkin mask would be the one that we try today. So that's what I'm going to be testing out doing a demo and giving you you a review for tonight or today. Alright guys so we are going to be doing the Peter Thomas Roth pumpkin enzyme mask. Now this is a dermal resurfacer so this is supposed to kind of resurface your skin and it does have some acid in it so that always scares me but we are going to be giving this one a shot today and this is what it looks like just in its little tiny tube container and before we get into the demo I do want to tell you just a little bit about the mask so on Sephora's website a five ounce jar is twenty eight dollars or no sorry fifty eight dollars I told you these things can be quite pricey but it's supposed to be a powerful highly effective exfoliating treatment to address dull aging and congested complexions and the formulation is supposed to gently exfoliate and it does it in three ways it does it with um, exfoliating with the pumpkin enzyme it peels with the alpha hydroxy acid which is the AHA and it polishes with aluminum oxide and then that is supposed to reveal smoother, younger looking, radiant, and revitalized skin. Now I'm having some blemishes down here. You can kind of see like there's some discoloration on, you know, some of my parts of my face that I've always had, or I've had for a while now. But how we're going to use this is it says apply a thin layer to clean skin, gently massage in a circular motion with wet fingertips. So I am going to do that before I start. And that is going to polish with the microderm, um, the micro polishing aluminum oxide crystals. And then you need to rinse thoroughly when you're done. So that is what we are going to do. I'm going to give it a shot. Typically, I like using like my mask tools and everything. The one extra thing that we are going to do is use the Origins Maskimizer Primer. Again, I got this as a sample and I just spritz it on my face before I do any of my masks. And it gives you a nice, just light, refreshing feel. I really don't know if this does anything, but I've been using it the last couple of mask videos that I've done, and I love the refreshing feel that it gives me, so I continue to use it until we're gone. So it's actually, it's lasted me a couple of mask videos, which I'm highly impressed from this tiny little sample. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and wet my fingertips and come back and we're going to get started. Alright, and one more, one more thing before we get started. It does say to leave this on 3 to 7 minutes and use it 1 to 2 times per week. And the 3 to 7 minutes is kind of how long you can take, I think, the acid. Because <laughs> I do think this is going to burn a little bit, which I'm a little scared about, I'm not going to lie. But let's go ahead and get started. So it is like a really pretty pumpkin color. And it actually really smells like pumpkin. So I'm just going to dot this on and start to massage it in. And it is kind of like a nice exfoliating, very like micro exfoliating though. Like it doesn't feel like it's hurting my skin or anything. And it definitely smells like a pumpkin pie, like total pumpkin pie. That is kind of really cool. I'm just going to put some more. It does say a thin layer, so I'm just going to kind of try to get an even layer first and not go like totally crazy with it. But a little bit more. Um, but it seems like it's kind of, it's not like easy to move around, like I'm definitely having to kind of work it into my skin. But I do feel very, very tiny micro beads, and it's turning my skin like a slight orange color. I don't know if you can tell that on the camera, but it's definitely tinging it a little bit of an orange color. And I love the pumpkin smell. Like, if you like pumpkin, you are going to really, really like this mask. So I'm going to go ahead and let that sit I guess I think that's enough I mean that's a thin layer to me I didn't want to go too heavy with this because again 
you know, this is going to burn a little bit, so I wanted to prepare myself and not go overboard. But I'm going to let this sit, and I'll let you know um, what it looks like when I come back. Alright guys, I am back, and this is what the mask looks like after it's been on for 7 minutes. And I have a lot to say so far. I was actually really, really surprised. I haven't sensed any tingling, and I haven't sensed any burning, which... In some of the reviews and some of the other videos I've watched when people use this, I guess if they have more sensitive skin, they seriously feel the tingling and they feel like a slight burning. So I think that's really, really interesting to note. I guess I don't have sensitive skin. I think my skin's somewhat in the normal range with like an oily, dry combination. Like it's pretty normal with more of an oily in the T-zone. But you can definitely see it has tinted my face a little bit like light orange and my, this is like my skin tone so you see my skin's really white you can tell that it's tinted it like a light orange color I've really experienced nothing as far as like tingling or burning which is awesome because I was really nervous about that to be honest so I think that has to go back to your skin tone and also how your skin reacts to AHA the alpha hydroxy acid so that's interesting um, I guess I'm not as sensitive sensitive to that as I thought I might be but that is kind of interesting because I'm not feeling anything. So really I can tell you more about when it went on. You have to work fast. I definitely see why they tell you to wet your fingertips because you kind of have to massage it around quickly. And it kind of, not that it really dries because it still feels sticky to the touch, but like you run out of, you know, like stuff to massage into your skin. You just kind of run out of it and it gets, you know, kind of sticky. So that's interesting and like I said I'm so surprised by not having any experiences of the burning so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take my elf cleansing brush because it has such a soft um, gentle exfoliating brush um, I'm just gonna wash this off with water like it says to do and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna take a look at my skin and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts okay guys I'm back it's time to give you my final thoughts on this Peter Thomas Roth pumpkin enzyme mask and so I did wash it off mostly with water in my hands, which again provided a nice opportunity to exfoliate when the water, you know, touches some of those crystals. So that was nice. And then I also finished it up with utilizing this little brush from e.l.f. so that I could just kind of help wash the rest of the stuff off, which worked out really, really nicely as well. And definitely it's an interesting mask. My skin, I think, does look a little bit more revitalized. It looks a little bit brighter. And it definitely, I think the biggest difference that I can tell is it's a lot softer. So I do think this does what it says it does. Um, I'm just so surprised I didn't experience any of the burning sensation. That really, really surprised me. So my, my final thoughts are, if you love pumpkin, this truly smells like real pumpkin pie. Amazing. Truly amazing. So I love the smell. It's totally fall appropriate. And if you like exfoliators and you don't have sensitive skin, um, you might actually really like this one a lot because you're not going to have that problem potentially like I did like really no burning no tingling at all it just went on like an exfoliator washed it off like an exfoliator and I do feel like my skin looks a lot brighter and it's super super soft it feels really really nice so I really liked this it gets a lot of reviews but I will say there's a ton of people who say this truly does burn them so be very careful if you've never tried you know anything with acid in it like I said the AHA just be careful with that because I was really worried about it because I didn't want to feel burning but it worked out just fine for me so thanks guys for watching let me know if you have any comments down and below and I will answer them for you there and I did want to mention one more thing I did add one more layer of this because I thought maybe I didn't put enough on to experience what I needed to experience but even with that extra layer being added I never felt any tingling or burning so I did want to mention that because I thought my, I might not have put enough on but it didn't do anything for me in the sense of like I didn't feel that uh, pain or burning or any tingling at all. So thank you guys again. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!